In this video, we're going to show you how to update your satellite. First thing first, identify the firmware on your satellite that is currently installed. And we will do this by connecting to the Wi-Fi network created by the satellite. Notice the network name is Rat Pack AKS. This is going to be across the board for any AKS or satellite you purchase as they share the same Wi-Fi module. This can be changed later on, which we will show you after the video. So connect you to Rat Pack AKS. Go into our browser and we're going to navigate to the same IP address as you would with an AKS, which is 10.10.100.254. This will bring you to our Rat Pack Constellation page that gives you an overview of the settings. We are going to select the Device Management tab and identify the firmware at the top of the page, which is 3.63.1.g. Now that we've identified our firmware, we're going to download the latest firmware from the website, ratpackcontrols.com. First, I'm going to access the internet by switching back to my local network. Go to Safari or any web browser and type in ratpackcontrols.com. Just to show you here, this is where you're going to navigate to your firmware. You're going to hit the top left drop down menu, locate tech support, and under that will be the firmware option. Now this directed me directly to the download option of the firmware. If it navigates you to a login menu, go ahead and use your credentials you've already created. If you have not created the credentials, on the right side of the page, it will give you that option to go ahead and use your personal email and create your own password. And then you'd be able to access this page. So now that we've accessed the firmware page, we're going to locate the satellite firmware. Hit download. Locate the download tab right here. And you'll see that it is, is a zipped file. Go ahead and tap the zip file and it'll automatically unzip it for you. Now I'm going to move this to a folder we've created already, which is titled AKS firmware. And then we're going to switch back to the satellite network to navigate back to the device management page. Okay, so now that we've downloaded the firmware from the website, we're going to navigate back to the device management page. So I pull up my Safari, I see that it's already there. I'm just going to refresh to make sure I'm connected still. All right, I am. Navigate back to device management, and we're going to notice that there's two sections module firmware and SAMD firmware. We're going to have to update both of these and we're going to begin with the module firmware. So go ahead and choose file. We're going to locate our satellite folder and we're going to see a binary file, which is our SAMD and then our Wi-Fi module. And that's where we want to start is with the Wi-Fi module. So go ahead and choose it. Hit apply. After updating, restart device before using. OK. So this firmware will take about 10 seconds or so to update and then it'll prompt you that it was successful on this page. So do not refresh the page while it goes white as you will be interrupting the update. Okay, update firmware successful rebooting. Great, now we're gonna wait an additional five seconds or so while the Wi-Fi module reboots. In some cases it may disconnect and auto connect to your local network. So what we'll do while it's rebooting is go back to Wi-Fi and ensure that it's still connected to the AKS network, which is our satellite. It is, so go ahead and navigate back to your web GUI. Hit the device management tab, and you'll notice that the version is now 3.68, which is where we want to be. So let's move forward. Now we're going to update our SAMD firmware. Notice the tab underneath. We're going to choose files, locate the binary file for our SAMD. And you can always reference the name if you're confused about which one is which. So SAMD firmware, select, apply. Are you sure you want to upgrade? Yes. And at the bottom window, it's going to prompt you when it's successful. Please do not refresh the page or select any tabs as it is updating. Update successful, rebooting. Give it another five seconds or so. And we're going to refresh the device management page just to make sure that we're where we need to be. OK. 368.1.g. This is the latest firmware and you're now fully updated. Okay, so you've updated your firmware, but you don't want to confuse your Wi-Fi networks. 
So you want to change the Rat Pack AKS name to Satellite, let's say, Satellite 1. What I want to show you real quick is in your main settings, you will see a node name, which is titled Satellite, but this is referencing what you see in Constellation. So when you're looking at your layout of your hosts or clients, it'll show your node name, but this is not referencing the SSID of a network you actually connect to. To change that, go into your host settings. Under wireless network, you'll notice it has network name, SSID, and that is the network name that pops up when you're connecting. So let's go ahead and select here, delete, and we're going to name it satellite one. Go ahead and hit apply. And it's going to prompt you at the bottom to restart the device in device management. Now this is important because if you skip this step, it's not going to hold the SSID name. So we're going to navigate back to device management. At the top, it says restart module. Go ahead and select restart. And it's going to prompt you at the bottom of the status of the reboot. So rebooting, I usually give it about five seconds and then just refresh the page. Let's go to our host settings. Okay probably disconnected so I'll go back to my settings so I noticed that it's not connecting and that's because we changed the SSID so it's trying to reconnect to Rat Pack AKS however we've changed it to satellite one so we're going to select satellite one password has not changed so we're doing quiet on set all lowercase no spaces and we should be connected so we're going to navigate back to our browser go to our host settings and verify that satellite one has still there. We know it has because we've connected to the network, but we just want to make sure that it's there. If you do want to change any other options here, you can, however, going forward, when you access any additional clients, you're going to have to manually search for this. So keep that in mind and we'll show you that in another video.